Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love in the general for the sign of Taurus. So watch this video if you're a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're dealing with one, keep in mind these are general readings, so it may or may not resonate. If it do not resonate, do not try to deliberately fit in, check in any other placement. If you want to have a personal reading, link is in the description. If you want to follow my Instagram, the link is in the description. So now let us see messages for Taurus. So what do my Taurus needs to know for week ahead, please? Oh, if you don't already know, I'm a moon and Venus and Taurus myself. Ooh, so we have money. It's literally the best card. <laughs> money, Taurus. I see some sort of hike in your money and I also see direction and ambition. So I see that um, the coming week is going to be a lot about you finding your direction, you working on your ambitions and of course you making a lot of money. Some of you, if you have been feeling lately like, yes, you might be making money wherever you are, but you just want to like go to the next level or you feel like your work is not aligned with your like purpose here and you kind of feel a disconnect with your work. I see next few days or next few months, obviously this is not going to happen in just one week. It's a massive energy here, but I see some of you, you will be basically getting realigned with your purpose here. You will be figuring out what you are meant to do on this earth. And uh, you know, when we are in alignment and when we do work that we are meant to, uh, we obviously naturally make a lot of money. So that's what uh, I see is happening with you. You're basically getting a direction and you're working on your ambitions and you're working on your goals that feel very, very aligned. And uh, in response, you will be making good money, right? So yeah, let me now read out the messages that are written here, which says, all my finances are now in divine order. Love itself knows my needs and is source for all. I need not cling to gain or fear of loss. Every need will be met through offering all to the divine. So some of you, if you have been worried as to where will your money come from, or if you're having any sort of financial constraint, then this is a confirmation that you don't have to. All your needs are going to be met and your finances are in divine order. And you don't have to worry about anything. You just need to focus on the fact that you are doing what you really, really want to and what you enjoy doing. Once you figure out that, which I see you will, money is not going to be a concern for you. All right. So that is what it is. And then here the ambition card says, may I offer all my deepest longing to love itself and invite a divine plan beyond my mind's imagination. Please use me for your highest good. Some of you, you need to surrender. It's like you have a plan which you have been sticking on to for a very long time. But obviously now you've started feeling disconnect, right? So the divine's plan, the universe's plan is always going to be bigger and better than ours. So yes, obviously we, we work hard and we do the stuff. When But when you feel like things are not in alignment, then surrendering is a thing, right? So some of you, you need to surrender and you need to let universe take its course of action and show you the direction. So yeah, that is that. And literally when you surrender, the direction is going to be shown to you. Lord, please show me the right action right now. Please bring me a sign in a miracle that gives me clear direction. Some of you, you need to ask for a sign. You need to ask for a direction. If you have been feeling a little foggy, so asking universe a direction, a sign, a signal is going to be very helpful for you right now. Please bring me a sign or a miracle that gives me clear direction. May I hear the promptings of my own body. And if for some reason I'm about to head to a wrong way, please stop me. So yeah, you need to connect with your own self. And you need to talk to universe more because I see that right now your, your mind is like kind of all over the place. So you need to ask for help. All right. All right. So now let us see messages for Taurus, please. Give me the present energy for Taurus. What is up with my Taurians? My bull gang. What is happening? Wow. <laughs> Taurus, we literally started with the money card and then we have the Empress. So uh, don't be surprised if your money kind of takes off in the in the times to come. So I see some of you next three months could be very prominent. Um, yeah, I see that if you have been feeling very stagnant and you feel like life is not moving, you're not getting the direction, you don't know what are your ambitions that you need to work upon. I see universe is going to help you, going to give you direction. And I see that decision that you have not been able to make for a very long time, that's gonna be made and you will be feeling some sort of expansion in your life. Your life is basically going to get unstuck. But for all of that, you need to surrender because Handman also says that sometimes we are too stubborn with our plan that we do not trust the divine plan and uh, we just want to do things our way. And however, doing things in divine order are sometimes, you know, much, much better and they just uh, open to a whole new perspective of 
you know like things in our life so some of sometimes we need not be so stubborn and we need to surrender that's what it is some of you it's like uh, the way you look at things is kind of outdated or maybe it's not working so now it's time for you to surrender like surrendering is a very big thing some of you really need to surrender and you, you need to ask for help and when you will do it i see universe is directly going to talk to you through signs through actions through signals or through people you know so yeah if you have been feeling like you are, you are waiting for a change and it's not coming so next 3 weeks to 3 months are going to be very prominent provided you surrender all right wow nine of pentacles what is up with your finances and the 10 of cups with the ace of pentacles something very very massive is about to happen in your finances in your family life um in your stability basically it's like i feel you are going to feel very secure you know like there is something that you wanted for a very long time in your financial situation and now it is coming in and this is beautiful beautiful energy that is showing up for you here some of you will also be celebrating something with your family like you'll be celebrating something like spending time with family having a good family time hmm there could be a new addition in your family some of you there could be a child that is getting born in your family somebody conceiving so you might hear some news of that sort also beautiful so your personal life your finances and everything looks pretty sorted for me and i see massive finances you know nine of pentacles itself is a pre empress energy and then we have empress both so it's like getting empress twice in a reading nothing like it beautiful beautiful energy give me some love messages for taurus please what is happening for my love Life of Taurus is three of swords. Ooh, Taurus, <laughs> you are feeling hurt. Some of you are feeling hurt over somebody. Probably there was third party in the situation. You got to know about it. Page of Wands. Yeah. Some of you see that this hurt is not new, because what you are surrounded by is definitely people. There could be a fire sign or an earth sign that's around you, but you also have something from your past that keeps hurting. Some of you, Taurus, let me call you on your own bullshit. some of you you kind of stalk your ex or uh you are still not out of a situation which was probably a cheating or a third party or whatever you went through um and it was something that happened long ago but it's like you're still sticking on to that thing very strongly and that's not letting you move forward in life all right so it's like you kind of keep repeating the old stuff and that, that is not letting you move forward so you need to stop doing that some of you really need to trust the divine plan and be open to what is coming towards you rather than repeating the old scenarios in your mind over and over again it's not serving you okay what is coming towards taurus and love next please king of wands there could be a fire sign yeah some of you there could be a soulmate connection king and queen of wands both in the reading a twin flame soulmate meant for each other kind of a relationship that's coming in some of you this person could be younger to you or they look very younger someone who's very passionate very driven i see that kind of person but you see your mind is pretty foggy you're not able to trust anybody there are options in love when it comes to love there are options but it's like you are you are overly alert some of you you are in this alert state where you have already presumed what all can go wrong and you kind of bring in your insecurity and that is not letting you move forward so sometimes the battle does not even exist and we just get ready to fight it that's your situation right now taurus you need to stop doing that stop creating battles in your own head that do not even exist okay give me some energy about this person on taurus mind devil yeah see seven of sword tower card there is somebody who's like full of shit that you dealt with in the recent past could be a capricorn some of you could be air sign could be a scorpio could be a pisces i don't know who this person was but like seems like there was a lot of shit that you dealt with in your recent past with somebody and it's like you're not able to let go of that energy somebody was very toxic yeah air of sword somebody is very very toxic that you dealt with full of shit full of games you need to drop that like this is your past see this is your past energy and what is coming towards you next is nine of pentacle king and queen of one lovers and all of that but for that to happen you have to get out of your own mind taurus you need to you are too much in your head too much in your head and you are constantly bringing in your insecurities 
in your future. It's not letting you move forward. What else for Taurus is love life? What's coming next? What's coming next for Taurus in their love life? Hierophant, there's a commitment and the sun card. Wow, like do you even see what is coming in next? Some of you have a Leo or a Taurus in your future, but for that you have to let this toxic past come to an end. You very well know that you dealt with somebody who was a piece of shit, would never give you commitment, will always be playing games with you. Like, you know it. Like, what are you trying to convince yourself about this person who's full of shit? I, I very distinctively see here two different energies. There are two different energies. Somebody who's full of shit and the other person who's like very stable. There is something new coming in which is full of potential but for that you have to turn your back with this shit that you're going through and some of you it's like you need to make an action. You know that you need to do certain things but you're not doing them because you don't want to do it because if you do it it will hurt you and then in that whole situation you're kind of prolonging stuff and then it's gonna cost you in the future. Stop doing it. I see there has been a destruction in your recent past like a massive one which kind of shook you but you are still not able to accept it and that is not letting you move forward you know that's not letting you move forward you have so much potential to create something that is good for you but you keep on circling back with the same energy what is the advice for Taurus please king of pentacles focus on your stability and see five of cups with the magician Focus on things that are beneficial for you, Taurus. Like, what's the point of crying over spilt milk? You are doing that. It's like something happened with you which was terrible. I can see that for sure. It was terrible. But then you just keep on crying on the spilt milk. The milk is already spilt. You have the potential to create something very stable, long-term, full of potential. But then when will it happen? When you will choose to focus on this? Only then. If you keep on getting into the same energy, creeping and crying over past, then good luck staying there. If you let yourself move forward, you have a lot of stability waiting for you in the future. Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. I'm telling you, even in love, I see there are two equally good options. Like people don't get one, you are getting two. But for that, you have to come out of your own head and you have to clear the confusion. It's like you keep on telling yourself stories that I'm confused. I don't know who I want. I don't know if somebody loves me or not. There is options. There could be an earth sign, water sign, fire sign. But then you keep on confusing yourself. You just want to like live in the past in your insecurities. You need to stop doing that. Literally. Take the plunge. Take the leap of faith and go towards something more meaningful. Like literally. Stop. Stop wasting your own time. Um, I'm telling you. Calling you on your own bullshit. Alright, give me a message for Taurus, please. It is safe for you to love and past life relationship with free yourself. Yeah. Like whole reading summed up in three cards. You need to free yourself from a past relationship. Somebody was very, very toxic. And I see that this is not some someone from the recent past. I see this has happened for you quite a long ago. But it's like you still feed on to that energy and you block yourself. So it's like a ex from two, three years back, you know, to be very honest. You need to let that go because what is coming towards you next or what is around you is very, very safe. But then because you still live in that past energy, you're not able to focus on it, you know. It's like energetically you block it. And then we have the energy of playfulness. Some of you, you really need to be more playful. You need to be like more outgoing. Become a child again. Um, have fun in little things of life, you know. Don't stress so much. Don't take life so seriously. Nobody is getting out of your life. We all have to die at the end of the day. So why not have fun? Make some mistakes, you know. Trust people. Yeah, give me a message for Taurus, please. My soul is awakening. I'm coming in for you. So I see this is your energy, actually. You are going through. Give me two months. Huh. 
this is your energy i feel like you you need some more time you are going through a major awakening um and you're trying really really hard to balance your life something is massively up in your life these days some of you you're also very much focused on making money like a big money energy is here so some of you it's like you're trying to keep yourself busy from love so that you can focus on money and uh, you don't get depressed basically <laughs> so you're trying to not think about love and you're trying to channel all that energy towards your money and career so yeah you're basically trying to show everybody that you don't have time for love i'm very busy and all of that but deep down you know you need some prosperity and abundance bitches <laughs> what is up with your money i see some of your big money coming in prosperity and abundance like came in then we had the empress we had the nine of pentacles and then we had the money card literally so some of you don't even be surprised if money comes in and it comes in big amount let me read out this card for you it's number 33 some of you might be seeing 333 is a lot these days that's again a confirmation for you so we have this card is a suggestion that you count your blessings the universe is telling you that you have whatever you need and probably much of what you want If you're asking about a project or a goal of some kind the answer is almost certainly yes it will be successful be mostly it is a symbol of what you already have and a reminder to appreciate some of you you need to be more appreciative of what you have especially when it comes to money it's like if you keep on living in the lack energy and you keep on chasing you will be chasing forever the secret to making more money is to first appreciate whatever you have right so that is that and i see when you will do it i see money coming in in loads for you all right and when it comes to love some of you you definitely have options and there are good options but it's like you keep on replaying some sort of past insecurity like from way way past in your life and you're kind of keeping yourself stuck so you need to stop doing that all right so that was the reading hope this helps to resonate if it does make sure you subscribe like share comment i will see you very soon in the next video till then you guys take care stay safe bye